Hello guys and welcome to uh, today's stream. <coughs> I am Ben, Knight of the Blackwater, and today we're going to be playing some Lannister Greensite. I do need to get this updated, I don't know why it has live stream on it twice. It's not a Lannister Greensite. Ooh, let's close that down. So this is a slightly updated version of um, the deck I was using the other day. To be honest, not mine. Uh, thank you very much to Dave Banford from Banter Behind the Thrones to uh, give me the updated list. So yeah, this is, I mean, what you think it does. This is um, a mill deck. This is going to, um, yeah, you use a new tar you need get uh, Pillage Tyrant out and you just try and mill everyone to death. And it's been quite good fun. <laughs> um, basically, I've, I've really enjoyed it. So um, I will put the list in the description below. Uh, Dave was very kind to let me see how yeah, I could stream it because there's no tournaments coming up soon, so he didn't really mind too much. Which thank you very much to Dave. I know I only streamed one of these the other day, but um, I'm struggling a little with deck building at the moment because obviously, as you guys know, if you watched the seen the video, um, I've got the Greyjoy box and it's not on here yet and it's not legal in here yet. So I'm kind of at this point where I'm like, I've got these cool cards I really want to use and I obviously can't use them because for streams. So deck building's come a, a bit awkward. Um, I've got some ideas for decks to try out um, for the next few streams until it gets done. Hopefully that will, um, yeah, hopefully that'll be fun. There's um, some old decks I want to try and look at now that we've got um, new... Um, Getting along, I'm assuming it's okay. Um, there's there's some new decks that um, so some old decks I want to relook at. With um, oh god, I think my mother getting that. <coughs> Sorry, a bit better, not massively, but a bit. See, no, it's free gold, unfortunately. Okay. Hmm, I think we just do that, don't we? Some, some old decks I want to look at. Uh, one potentially isn't going to be that much fun, um, but I think it'd be some interesting cards to come out which made it even better. So, um, which would be a nice watch deck. Um, now I'm going to make sure they spent the right number of gold as I do this manually. Yeah, so one's going to be a nice watch deck. Um, I think that could be quite. I think that could be quite effective now. Uh, I've got another one which is going to be. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming. Okay. Well, that was worth it. Come in, quit out, don't even say anything. Thank, thanks for thanks for wasting my time. <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, people. Can that? That's a win. He conceded. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, I think I've think, yeah, got, got a nice watch deck in mind. I'm gonna try um, Tyrell decks, maybe. No, we'll see. I've got some things in mind. Baratheon. Okay. So. We're going to keep the hand because we've got the Tyrion and we've got the Mountain, which is pretty good start. I think we just do that. Oh, cards and shadows. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, we got deep for the got deep for the Mountain. This has gone really well. So you've got peace and prosperity. Okay. Burn metal Picel. We will discard Burman, I guess. Ours is the Fury or after Winds Dawn to begin sand catch. Yep, yeah, okay, let's get rid of that. I've got King's Row as well, nice. So can't believe he interacts with uh, Green Sight. Seems so good. Uh, 
Um, what do I do here? I think I play this guy. Get done. So we're that's not just that's not win by five, it's a winning entry challenge, isn't it? Yes it is. So we have the red keep. So I'll be looking at some summer decks because you, you run Peace and Prosperity, you run um Well sit. Uh, change of information, two of those probably. Um, and doesn't feel so quite so bad because of the gold. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of dupes. Currently lacking an intrigue icon, though. At least three gold. I assume this one of the, well, at least one of these is the character. Then you know, Neil was a character that's uh, not an attachment. G3. Okay. And Junk So Faithful, or let's get rid of Melisandre. That seems pretty good. Shame we couldn't have gone down the mountain. He would have killed her. I'm just going to attack with the military now because I can't defend the military coming back, so we might as well go in. Let's see what we've actually got rid of. Ooh, pinch of powder. Interesting. I was not expecting to see that. I'm actually kind of open. Uh, well, he hasn't got enough gold for it now. I'm actually, I actually did leave myself open to it. I had to think about that. Um, I think we're prob who we're going to probably kill here. I uh, guess the I guess him. And I'm actually kind of happy if he draws the red keep here. I don't know if he's realised that, <laughs> but I actually want him to draw. He's drawing. That's a mistake, most probably. Unless he can now win out before. Unless he's hoping to win out for a million. But you know, we've already got. We've already gone for a lot of cards. I think we go for late summer feast and set up here. Get both of these out. Start going through cards. <coughs> Exchange of information. Okay. Again, I'm happy for him to draw cards, so this is working out quite well. Uh, that's not a hard one. You can have that one, it gives me money. And 
we we'll discard that. So he's really halfway through his deck. So he can't play out one of those this turn, so that's something. I think what we potentially do here is we go and do an intrigue with um, with the with the mount uh, with the mount uh, the marauders. You draw one card. Oh, please do. Please draw a card. <laughs> so two gold left. What nasty tricks have you got? So let's do an intrigue with him. As he declines to draw. Uh, fiefdoms or storms, so we'll get rid of that, I guess. And then we'll do the mountain. Um, so you can get rid of him because and. Kill him, and then I think we pass. Military for five, so we're going to stop the unopposed because he's got quite a bit of power already. And then we'll just kill the um we'll just kill him. Uh do I don't want to play a second one. I put it seven I'm already discarding one card, probably not actually. In the power challenge, obviously, because the red keep. Oh, sorry. Um. Okay, so he's gonna take Dom. Do I wanna do this now? Let's do this now. Sure. Yes, I'm quite happy to use Privet's position for that. Draw more cards. Valid Harris. Yeah, I was afraid that might happen.
Um, I guess we get rid of that. We've got enough. That one. Uh, Waker Shock gets round, no to choose an attacking character until the end of the phase that character gets extra X number of characters. Okay. Oh, another boat. Laughing God off shooting the shit challenge. Uh, choosing rolled until the end of the phase that kind of get character gets intimidate. Nice combo. So there's a pinch of powder on. I'm just going to do this while I remember. See, the things I might as well go aggressive now because we've because of these because I can't nest I can't really defend too well. Because I'm defending with both of them, he'll still, he can still up the strength. Of course, I can. I've got the bloody hound, Numpty. Oh well. The hound should be in this challenge. I want him to draw. I want him to draw cards. But still, the hound really should have jumped. I should have saved the hound there. And that stops him from attacking me too much. I think that's the right move. So probably going to kill him, I imagine. Yeah. Pinch of powder, ours is the fury. Stand him. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the pin. No, he's going to draw the pinch of powder, so I need to get rid of the pinch of powder. That's fine. He'll win by one, but it means he can't now nil this guy. Should have put him into the military. That was a mistake. Trying to minimize. Go on, use the red keep. Could redo this thing a treachery right about now. A bit, I say, probably going to play a bit more defensively at this point. Uh, I think I'm going to summon because I really want to see his dupe. Oh, 
Oh, Valor McGor really? Okay. It slows me down for a turn, but it doesn't really slow me down. Two resets, interesting. Um, right, how much gold am I going to have? I'm going to have four, five, six, seven. So I could put the mountain up, but that would be all I'm putting out. We'll set for the close call next turn. Transport merchant kind of need that, but I uh, need to keep carrying on with the pillage. I think. Do I? Yeah, we do. Should be stuffing my events back in, that's potentially a mistake. So no gold, so that's quite important. What's my next money? Oh, it's close school. Yeah, close school will be enough to get Tywin out. So he just can come in. <laughs> if I ask him, just come and do the military and intimidate one of them. Probably um, Cersei. So that's interesting. So he's making them. Um, he's intimidate. Okay. So if I nail that, yeah. There you go, then. Have the unopposed. That combination is going to be quite annoying this game. <coughs> oh, all the money. I haven't seen any of my glass candles either, it's been quite annoying. Uh, gold mine, don't necessarily need. Yeah, and just. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. They have attachments, they can. Okay. Alright, we got all the money. Money, 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 money. So potentially we don't put Tywin out here and we Valor. Doing the same character and game one gold. Okay.
she milked him first. Doesn't matter, I'm just going to milk him again. That was a misplay though. Very vulnerable. That potentially was a mistake. game right now? No. Okay. Does he just win this turn? Uh, power goes, so I pose this. The power goes unopposed. Unopposed. I think he might just win this turn. Um... Quite poorly in all fairness, this game. The human's dom gets to 14 power. My valid gets him down to 13 power. We could potentially still win this. We really like to see a treachery at some point. I think that would probably help us. So Gregor could gain Robert. Yep, let's get rid of those. Don't even have him Robert. Sniper Mel. <clears throat> I think probably we still just I think we probably still just lose here. <coughs> well that might help.
so close. Was that six cards left? Five cards left. It's not going to be enough, though. I think he's got it this turn. Yeah, and he's wins Dom. Just five more cards and we would mill them. Uh, probably weren't getting much more pillage though next turn off. Actually, I would have sent out a shuffled, wouldn't I? Don't know, it would matter. Okay, don't don't talk. I mean, sometimes I feel people. Sh it's a social game. People should talk more. I'm just going to have a quick drink. Yes, I'm going to join the game. Ooh, Lannister. Do you playing Lannisters? Being called Lannister. He is not. Right, do we keep this hand? It's actually not a bad hand. I've seen worse. Let's keep hand. Because we've, we've got lots of draw here. Stream to whom? Um. Right, so what have we got? No characters. That's a good start. <laughs> hmm. I've had very few, very few characters either. So we've got Green Sight Pulliver and Scheming Septon. Yeah, let's discard those. We've got 10 gold. So lots of money. Our reserve seven. So we played both of those. We get up to eight cards. Assuming you're probably going to lose an injury because there's going to be some good injury characters in there. I put down seven, so that means we'll be fine. Oh, we're going to play that as well. So we go down to six actually. There's our milk target. Go in the plus one strength there as well. So I need six gold actually. I'm gonna totally milking her. 
don't think there's any reason not to. So we need to slow the game down as much as possible to allow the pillage to go through. And there's a lord, so we're not going to do a military. So he's only leaving one gold, that's interesting. That's a big pool. So we could do an intrigue for eight. He could have been for ten, so he's got growing strong, he's got growing strong. Okay. Now what do we pillage? I uh, drew from inside, get another milk. And they drew the pillage to character. Okay. <laughs> so he's got all the tech to start with. Like not all. I haven't got Tywin. I haven't drawn many good characters, in all fairness. So that's good. this is going to be a bit of a power swing. Yep, so that puts some four. It's going to be five, so things are going to win Dom. Get rid of Flea Bottom, that's not a bad tickle. We're on reserve, they're over reserve. And I said, and she's going to get milked in a second because, yeah. Look at that, they're 32, down to 34 cards already. <laughs> Turn one. That wasn't bad, that's was alright. Do we need to set up turn or do we. No, I think we just go that type. The more draw. No, that's going to be annoying. But not too annoying because we have two milks. Uh, what have we got? Land support merchant and growing strong. Yep, let's get rid of that growing strong. Two hands judgments would be quite nice to see is quite nice to see right now. Quite a few spectators. Let's come on the stream, guys. I think it's just a bit of a setup turn. Put out the uh, put out the Western fiefdoms. Put out the gold mine, and then two milks. She's definitely getting milked. So the fact let's just do that off the bat. I'm going to keep holding the milking case in case they have confiscation. 
I put out those cards in the wrong order. That was stupid. So we've got options here. We can either stand shade twice, and we've got. Um, okay, that's annoying. So we're potentially going to need to wildfire next turn, just to get this board a bit smaller. So it's an intrigue for a gabillion. Uh, intrigue for 13, 14 potentially, and we can only defend for minimal. So we'll just chub block with Shay, because she can stand. Okay, let's look at the top card of his deck and decide it because he's about to disappear. Should have done that to start with, really. And lost the other milk. Okay. It's annoying, but not the end of the world. Do I have to win any challenge? God, she is bonkers. Sound that character. Okay. Tracking all cut. I guess we could lose a hand's judgment. It's just ridiculous. It's just this is gee, he's he's complaining I was set up in turn one and he's he's more than set up already. Guess it's military. And then we pass. Should just uh, I'm not. I'm on tilt now. I can't. I don't think I, I really don't think I can win this. I think the T far ahead. I guess the one chance we have got is we Valor because that gets rid of her. I need to put a lot of good characters into play. So we've got all the green sight. There's King Benley, which we figured was coming. Is it even worth trying to defend anything here? So I've got still got late summer thieves to come, so I can I can put a board out next turn. He's only got one. I should have put cards out because I'm now going to lose them all. I just forgot about reserve. Reserve is a thing, apparently. So he's going to be on 12 power.
I'm gonna get rid of, rid of. I think I have to get rid of one of the glass. Uh, no, do it. I think I need to keep the glass candles, don't I? I think the glass candles are my win option. Man, this hurts. So we're gonna go late summer feast and hope we can pull this back. Is this deck not running? I've, I've been waiting for treacheries. I'm starting to think I don't think this deck actually runs treacheries, does it? Nothing I could do about that at that point. <coughs> Pinch of powder on the mount on the mountain. That's all my money gone. Can't defend that. Do you think, have we actually got no? Oh, so doing so well in testing as well. It's really annoying. Brought on stream and has lost this last, last lost two in a row. Although we could have won the first one. Yeah, we are. Of course, we're going to bloody treacheries. One of the hands judgments should be tech treachery. Actually, in fact, I'm going to make that change. Dark Wolf, okay. Do we keep this hand? We can set up. I think we do keep the hand. Yes, we do. And we can set up four cards. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, when you see milks quickly, then. Second, guys. So, so, it was in there. so you went for hit serve to get Aemon, makes sense. Uh, we've had Dragon's Tale, oh, I want to keep Dragon's Tale. Uh, but I want to get rid of that. Box. Yeah, let's get rid of them. No milks yet. So what's he got at the moment? While there's a steward, he gains insight. We're first, okay. We should put him out first. That's fine because we can do this. Mm. 
big lack of power icons. <laughs> Land us away. What are these power icons you speak of? Craven. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. We don't run confiscation either. Still, he can't do a military. Strength, strength four. So currently he has just insight, stealth, and intimidate. So if he gets a builder or a ranger out, he doesn't have either of those at the moment. Um, I don't think it's worth. Is it worth going and doing a military? I guess we go and do a military for two and see what he does. Or do I want them all to defend the intrigue? No, because then Eamon just comes in and the intrigue doesn't he? And he wins the intrigue anyway. The Iron Bank will have its due, interesting. That's really interesting. Corm half hand. Okay, that changes things a lot. So now he has intimidate, I believe. He's, yeah, intimidate. Okay, so he can do a military for eleven. So we have to go done. So it's only on a military, yeah. So we're just not going to bother. Could potentially use this to get rid of the um, Isle of Ravens in a minute and search for a, a better card. Potentially do that in dominance. They know attachments, they're not. Mm, bugger, they could get awarded them. So I figure this would be just a power challenge with John. Draws a card, which I'm more than happy for him to do. And has. He has Intimidate, okay. But that's fine, because he, can he can't Intimidate the Mountain. So he still can't do a military. Or the Mountain just defends and, you know, does what the Mountain does. Can Intimidate the Tickler, though, which probably is the correct choice here. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that's what I wanted to see. <laughs> we win dominance sixteen to six. For the watch, you can't lose the first challenge. Sure. Was it the first challenge? You can't lose, and your opponent can't win the first challenge initiated against you. Yeah. To make sure it wasn't like the first challenge, they actually win, they lose. You can't actually just do a chud challenge, can't you? It's been a while since I've seen that plot. I prefer, I prefer especially nice to watch the. Um, I'm going to show it's Raiders, Messenger Raven. Yeah, discard those. Um, I prefer the. Um, what is it? Um, what's that plot I'm thinking of? Nothing burns like the cold. No, nothing burns. Uh, the fight that burns. That was 
probably a waste. <laughs> That was probably a massive waste. I probably should have done that. I got too excited. Hey, it's Eamon again. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. Uh, can you do this on defense? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, God, what's this? No one should count to get one gold. No one should count to draw one card. Oh, this is the card that held the new gift. This is the card that everyone thought was going to like revolutionise the game and actually didn't do much. See him valoring next turn. Iron Bank. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got a feeling there's a valor coming. Should have kept that treachery, treachery, treachery. <laughs> it's got to be Tywin, surely. Yeah, cool. That's fine because every valors. I'm not that annoyed. So again, I didn't do any challenges because what's the point? Yeah, man, big mistake there. Should not have used that trajectory. Should have waited for him. But that's fine, because that means I could Valor and don't have to worry about it, necessarily worry about it too much. Probably won't Valor just yet. I think we're okay. Yep, not much I can do about that. But I can play the long game here, because I'm slowly going to mill him faster than he can win doing one power challenge a turn. I mean, it would be nice if I had a, actually had a power icon. Not going to lie. Yeah, please keep drawing. Keep drawing your cards. That's what I want. <laughs> what was it? Oh god, that's n that's not a bad um, bad pull with the tickler. Okay, really want to see a Craven with the tickler though. That would make me happy. I think he throws on the confiscate there. What about Lansport Guard and the wool? Yep, let's get rid of the wool as I put a lot of cards into my discard pile. <laughs> Interesting question. Can I play him out? I guess we find out. Yes, I can. Ooh. Just no better target again. King's Road back this turn. Should have reduced him with that. They could afford the burn men, but that's fine. No, the half hand still there to come out, so. Mm -hmm. 
What can I attack in the military for? 8, 11. Putting so half an hour he can only defend for 11. And then I've still got the mountain to be do mountain things. If he wants to do a military back. Yep, and there's half hand back out. We've seen two iron banks already, haven't we? Another craven. Is that going to go on? Can't go on them, so it's going on Tywin. Makes sense, I guess. I think he wants to put on them. So we can attack for 11. Don't we should have done my mass, right? Yep, he can defend only for 11. Broken vows. Uh, okay, so we're going to get rid of Eddard because there's now an event on top of the deck. So these guys can go into the military and then stand afterwards. What I would do to give them a different icon. I think it's risky. This isn't my. I said it before. It's This isn't my. Might want to my deck. <laughs> Bugger. Um, because obviously Mar Martel, you got this stuff which these guys just won't do anything against against Mar those most Martel decks these time these days. So we're going to think we get rid of his Craven. I think that's the best option here. He declines to draw. We get rid of the Craven. Play a claim. Broken Vows of Gren, we'll go for Broken Vows and stand him. Um, do I then try the Intrigue? So I do the Intrigue, he kneels. So it's not really like it's a lose-lose. No, I want the military so I can defend against this. So I think we go done. Doing an intrigue. Intrigue for two. Swan to the watch or ward. Ooh, that's a hard one. I think we get rid of the ward. And shuffle that back in. So you can now do a power challenge and I will lose. Um I think he better. I think he's just worth putting half hand in now. If he's, if he's, not, he's not again. He, I think you should be putting a half hand into his power challenges and trying to uh, put pressure on, because get renown would start building up, and <clears throat> I then got to start doing something about it. Because now the mountain can start going to town, and yes, you got Aemon. I could potentially have he's drawing again that's weird 
Um, yes, he's got Eamons, but I mean, obviously I could potentially have Treachery. So I mean, he doesn't reset the board this turn. I'm um, I'm getting that Craven off um, Tywin. This is going to be his reset. Yep. Okay. So we're, there you go. After this class of characters in pillage, choose a character from two level to enter his owner's hand. Okay. And they've got the awkward interaction. What happens with these two? I'm assuming he still dies, but I'm not 100% sure. I've never had this happen before. Yeah, he's just discarded. Okay. That's fine. That's what we were close call for. Without his beard and Gren. Yeah. Because we drew another without his beard. Brilliant. Effectively, we have six gold. So I think we just put these. Oh, God, no, your non uniques are bad. Um, I think we just put these two out. He can win the intrigue, most likely. Or just do. Actually, sorry, I just do power. That's our military, don't I? Can just try and kill stuff. He's got zero claim. Oh, that's annoying. We still win the military, so that's fine. Oh, thank you for the extra gold. So you can attack for 13 and I can defend for 14. So we'll let the other two go unopposed because we don't care. I just like the idea of... Yes, yes, we are discarding Jon Snow. <laughs> that's that's not even a decision. Oh, that no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have left him on there. To, I could have killed him in the mountain. That was a massive mistake. Stupid boy. Oh, this is tempting now. Let's do it. That could not go much better. I got him to discard a load of cards, and I got um, <laughs> the Landsport Guard back. It's a hand. A cow can't win the military. So, unless he does another challenge here. But I'm kind of okay that because I already cocks it up. Okay. 
So we get a close call. Need to find some dupes of these characters now. Um, marched. Okay, that's fine by me. I mean, I'd rather it wasn't. <laughs> but you know, it's not the end of the world. Transport guard and three fingered hob. Ooh, yes, yeah, so I do. So we go little finger, trigger little finger. We'll do that in a minute. Um, we see the glass candle. What's there? <laughs> and I then think we go do that and get done. Oh, right. oh my chair just broke. That was fun. <sighs> okay. A lot of money on the other side there, that's one of the only real worry. Are they only on five power? My other worries are gonna valor at some point. I think we probably keep the hound on the board. Uh, does it have to be attacking Lannister? Does not. Okay. So we could potentially make him draw another five cards this turn. I think I think we're at the point now where he can't win fast enough. I think. Oh, the Gren uh, new gift combo. Neil going to use junior gift, standard, standard steward, Neil that steward to trigger the new gift, I believe, is it? Because not limit. You go twice per phase. I said, I said I mean, everyone thought this card was going to wreck the game, and it's hardly seen any play. I mean, it's a nice little combo, but it has hardly seen any play. What's broken ties do? Give control of which character to your opponent. Take control of a non law character that controls at the lowest printed cost. Huh? Take control of a non law character that player controls with the lowest printed cost. Oh, okay. So the hound. Um. Okay. Swan to the watch. Okay, I'm not disappointed by that. Because it as soon as the hound is if the hound wins a challenge, he has to come back to my side. Should have done that after the challenge. Now I think about it. Should have done that. Then looked at the top card because obviously the mountain's about to go in for a challenge. And he's going to draw this card anyway. That was less than optimal. Oh, that's going to be the what's it character? Uh, what's it? The shadows character, the sacrifice of night's watch character, comes into play. That's fair.
So I think we do the military here, because what we got? Six, twelve. And we could potentially court kill a lot of characters. So unless he's got a second march to the wall, which he could do, because you know we have seen the new wall. So that's what, yeah. Uh, now it's going to be unopposed if he gets rid of him. He's not getting rid of him. Getting rid of the yeah, non unique that's that was so that that was a good play. Gets rid of the non unique character, so I can't um so I can't kill him. And we play the mountain lottery. Is he gonna aim at him? No, he's not. And we <laughs> the mountain pillage the wall. <laughs> <laughs> right now I guess three unopposed challenges and's gonna win Dom but he's down to 15 cards We've got a lot of pillage. Or oh, a lot of discard effects, I should say. Uh, you're dead, aren't you, Tickler? Yes, you are. Should have got rid of you. That was a mistake. But it's fine. We can get rid of you in standing. Uh, no, in, dominant, in taxation. Mm, that's annoying. So it's gonna win Dom, so you're gonna go up to ten. So I do need probably need to be a bit more careful now. I probably was a bit too reckless that turn. But he's down to thirteen cards. So by the time we've done draw and green side, that's ten cards. Um there's still three green uh, there's still three, three dragons tails on the deck. I'm not feeling too bad at this point. That's another, that's another pillet. That's another draw. Oh, in standing. So the hound's going to die here. First, yeah, please draw another card. <laughs> we'll keep these two alive. Cold, uh oh. 
we should have gone first. You know, it's, it's, a, it's it, you know, nine times out of ten, it's the correct choice to go second. Uh, Milk of the Poppy into Three Fingered Hob. Yeah, we'll discard that. What time is it? Okay, got 15 minutes. So that should be enough time to finish this game. That's fine, actually. If he wants to, if he wants to do that to uh, the mountain, I'm actually okay. So I'm going to get decked. Uh, that's the plan. Ah, oh, even dupes annoying. But yeah, if he wants to do the mount, the the frozen solid. Bit late, but that's still annoying. Good. So we've got nine cards left. Unless you're just bringing in cold hands back to life, just because you know he's a character. That's the other. That's the other thing I didn't you didn't consider. Could just literally because he's a character. <coughs> Sworn to the watch. So that be on him. I'm assuming, giving him the ranger and builder trait. A raven. Okay. I think we do this. The hound, he's dead. So we got, we got. Put him out. Uh, is he dead or is he marched? He was marched. Okay. And we put him out and go done. Potentially probably shouldn't put so many cards out knowing that I'm having to Valor next turn. But I guess I do need to stop him from winning. And also, uh, again, I probably should have left it on top of the deck to stand him, but never mind. I think at this point we just need to go through, mill through. So we've got two more mills here. We've got the green site mill. So that's, and he's got draw. So I put him down, that's five cards. So I put him down to two cards. So we now just have to defend these challenges. That's, that's all. The, that's all the game plan is. Just double checking. Intrigue. So it's interesting that he's still doing the intrigues, despite the fact that I've without it, out of, I played without his beard multiple times. <laughs> Seven strength intrigue. I think yeah, he's worried about without his beard. Okay, we're going to chub block this because I just need to slow the power gain down. There's nothing. In, well, as long as there's nothing in my hand I care about, because I have got to Valor next turn. But you know. Yeah, I would rather think I'd rather have the character than not. Power for eleven. He he does not have intimidate current. Does he have intimidate? Oh, he always has intimidate. Okay. Well, we're going to chub block that anyway. You want to nail them, that's fine. Then the mountain can come in and wreck foes. So he's going to be on 12 power at the end of this. Can he just about see it out, actually? Maybe, maybe I've miscalculated. Maybe he can. So now I'm going to bound to eight cards, six cards. I think the correct play is to attack with the mountain because it gets one card lower. And if we can potentially hit a free cost character, we're looking okay.
and he's seen a reset, so he might not think I'm on Valor. The correct choice is the message raven, though, because it does nothing for you. You don't want to draw at this point. Eh, it's funny. Oh. <laughs> Even better. Oh, political disaster. Nice. I'm lucky I use those. Valamogulis. Might not actually be able to afford Tywin now, think about it. Then Pycelle and the Glass Candle might be enough. Pretty much, does, unless this is a dragon's tail, it pretty much doesn't matter. We're just looking to. Right. Um, so the play is that. That. And we go done. Ward. Ah. Uh, okay. I think he wins the game. Yeah, he's won the game now. Damn it. So close. So close. I'm still not sure about King's Roads in here. Can't help but think Rose Roads would be better. Then I would have done that. We'd done the military. He had had to defend it. Um, GG. Three Tywins at that point. How far? Oh, they were both right at the bottom. Yeah, good game. Um, I think saying that I think we we could have still won it if I hadn't had discarded that Jon Snow dupe and we could have killed Jon Snow. One card, yeah, I know one card. So we got the first game he had five cards left. The set this game he had one card left.
Right, I think I'm to call it. I need to go on. Yeah, when he's going to pick up my daughter in a minute. So, guys, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, just a quick plug if anyone would like to. Um, you don't get much closer than a mill kill than that, no. Nice session, thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming on, Jester. If anyone would like to help out the channel, there's, you can go to Patreon and donate there. Um, you know, as always, nothing's going to go behind a paywall, but if you could help support, it would be appreciated. I can upgrade my equipment. Uh, I've noticed my mic is already gone now, and it's not as good as I'd like it to be, and I really want to upgrade that. But Christmas babies and that type of stuff. I mean, it's good enough. It does the job. I just want it to be better. Um, cool. Well, thanks, guys, for coming on. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be streaming next. Um, so if there is a nice watch deck I want to try, and there is some other things I want to try. As I said at the beginning of the stream, because of the Greyjoy box being out, but kind of not being out, I'm in this weird limbo stage where I've got all these cards I can play with people, you know, my friends who are, you know, who I see, you know, on physical cards, but I can't play them on FriendsDB yet. So FriendsDB, I am friend yet. So it's kind of throwing a bit of loop in what I really want to play. So, street, yeah, I don't know. I, want, I'm not, I don't think the streams drop off at this point, but it's just hard to be creative when I've got 52 cards sitting there to be creative with, and I can't do them on here. But anyway, that's it, you know, that's what happens. We got, we got lucky to get them early, I shouldn't complain too much. But guys, otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and as always, it has been emotional.